In this video, you will learn how to add and edit quilt blocks. If the library is not shown, click on the library icon on the left side of your screen, and that toggles the library on and off. There are three categories in the library, blocks, colors, and fabrics. Let's first choose the blocks to use on the quilt. Click on the plus sign in front of main blocks to open the different categories. You'll see there are multiple categories of blocks. You can even design your own block in the quilter program, and you'll learn about that a little bit later. Click on the plus sign in front of the block you wish to add to choose your category. When you rest your cursor on a block, you can choose the block, and it is transferred to the upper part of the library. To place it on your quilt, come over to the quilt and click. The paintbrush toggles between the paintbrush icon, but it turns to an eyedropper when it's in the library. If you change your mind about a block, all you have to do is select the new one and click on top of the original and it will be replaced. You can also hold down the control key and add blocks to each block of the quilt. Should you decide you want to edit the block, you can click on the edit button in the library and the block editor opens. You'll learn about how to make changes in your blocks and create your own blocks in a later video. You can also group, ungroup, and regroup blocks. Choose the select object and I'll hold down my control key and select the blocks that I want to group. You'll see the group icon is highlighted. Once those are grouped, ungroup becomes available. And once they're ungrouped, regroup becomes available. I can also mirror blocks or rotate blocks. We'll learn about using these tools after we add fabrics to our quilt. 